Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my Amazon and Target shop with me. I will say when I first started filming this, it was just gonna be all Amazon products, but last night I ran into Target and I felt like they had the most amazing pieces out and I grabbed a lot. So we're gonna just combine this video and make it an Amazon and Target shop with me. I know you guys love those places like I do. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into today's video. Okay, so the first thing I picked up from Amazon was a rug. I loved, loved, loved the rug I had in here, but one of my boys had several accidents on it that I could not get out. Um, and then when I went to order again, they didn't have the correct size, so I had to order something different. I will say this dog um, bed is from Amazon as well, just in case you're looking, I will link that. It's so nice to have because it looks like a rug, but it's actually a dog bed. Um, this is the rug we picked up. It's actually a really big one, so it must, um, they must have it like folded in half in there. So we're gonna get this open, and I'm always so nervous to open up rugs when you buy them online because a picture can look completely different than real life. Um, so you have to be super careful. You have to read all the details about it and always read reviews because people are more honest there. Now there'll always be negative reviews, but just look for like color and sizing and how it's holding up. So we're gonna tear into this because I am so excited to see in it and make sure it's something that's gonna work. Anytime you're ordering a rug, it can be a little scary because they tend to be a little bit on the pricey side and you don't know what the color's gonna look like or the fit. So my tip is to tape off the corners of where the rug would be, like find the measurements um, on the listing, measure it out, make sure it's gonna work, and then try to find a site where you can do free refunds. So this one on Amazon, I could return for free. So that way, if I don't like it, it may be a tad bit of a hassle, but at least I can get my money back and go and order another one that I'll like better. This part always makes me so nervous. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, the same this? rug. <laughs> it is, is it? I think it is the same rug. Oh, I think I ordered it just in the size smaller. I forgot, I did oh, get it. it. They just didn't have the right size and so I went down a size. I was nervous this whole time and I was getting the exact <laughs> same rug. I thought we got a different one. Okay. I'm so confused. I looked at so many rugs. I thought I ordered something else, but I thought I'll just go a little smaller and I just won't make it go as like, before it was sticking out on this side of the sectional, like it came down here, but technically it can just like start somewhere there um, because it was cheaper too. That is hilarious. It's been on our porch all day and I've been so nervous and it was the exact same rug. So, okay, let's put it where it belongs and it's not easy because we have to take this whole thing apart. Yeah. So, thanks a lot, Tiger. <laughs> Just a tip, if you're ever moving your furniture for any reason, for a rug or whatever, and you like where it is, kind of tape it off where the legs are. Otherwise you will spend hours just like shifting it one way and then the other, and when you have a sectional, it doesn't scoot easy. And then once it's on a rug, you can't scoot it at all. So, um, Chase, that part's gonna actually be where the rug is. You might do these back ones. Cause like the rug, I really want to like start down here. Um, so those legs will be off of it. So then we know right where to kind of put the rug and then where the legs will go once we start setting all the pieces back on. Anytime we are moving heavy furniture around and I have the accessibility to clean underneath it, I like to do that because once the rug's down and the sofa's on it, you may not be moving your furniture for a while, so go ahead and vacuum, even mom if you need to, just get that space clean so you don't have to worry about it later on. Here is the rug rolled out just so you can see it. It's a little bit wrinkly, but I love that they don't like roll it tight. Um, when I used to get boutique rugs, 
all my corners were lifted when I'd roll it out. This is more folded up. So, I mean, it'll have a little crease, but all of this will relax. Um, but it always looks really good. The reason I love this rug is it's like an ivory, but it's got all this gray in it. So it hides dirt really well. Um, just not stains. <laughs> so, um, here's what it looks like. It goes with our furniture. So we're going to put the sectional back on it and then we are good to go. I get like locking all your sectional pieces together it takes a little more time and it's a little more work. Um, if you just remove the cushions, it makes it a lot easier so you can see which side is sliding into the other. But definitely take the time to do this. If you don't and you get lazy, your furniture is just gonna slide around. It's never gonna be like flush with each other. Um, we went on vacation this summer to an Airbnb and like the furniture wasn't locked together, the sectional, and we were just like all over the place. So when you have company over and all that, just make sure it's locked in and then you know everything's nice and tight. From my experience, anytime I've been looking for a rug on other sites, you can sometimes find it on Amazon. So just keep that in mind if you have like credit over on Amazon or you just trust them or you may be able to get it faster. Always kind of search that rug on Amazon and you might find a better deal or you may get it sooner or quicker, which is always a win. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day. Tell you that I'll miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much. So once I get a new rug, I pretty much vacuum it immediately. You'll have to let me know down below in the comments section if you do the same thing. I just figure it's dirty from being in like a warehouse and shipping and all of that. So it's just nice to go ahead and get all those pieces vacuumed up so there's no like dirt in the house. Just a new rug tip, if you get one and there are a lot of wrinkles or say it was wrapped up really tight so it's not laying flat, just find some heavy pieces in your house. It can be books, it can be furniture, whatever you have and put it on four quarters and don't put your furniture on it yet if you'll like roll the rug out. Um, in the morning or even in the evening and then let it just relax all night. It'll already start to look better the next morning. It may even take a few days, but it will slowly relax over time. So I really hope you love me. I know this coffee table does not look heavy, but it is so heavy and Chase was outside and I just wanted to get my living room put back together. I'm not the most patient person and so I thought, hey, it's a circle, I'll just roll it in. It worked perfectly. Um, Chase came in and he was like, how in the heck did you move the coffee table? And I always say, where there's a will, <laughs> there's a way. Here are some before and after clips just so you can see what it looks like without a rug and then once I put the rug down, you'll have to let me know which way you like it better. So here it is, I feel like it makes such a big difference. Um, and I don't love the color of our floors. Um, they were kind of fine when we moved in, but now that I found my style, the organic modern, I would really love like a blonde light floor, almost kind of like that. 
Um, so not having a rug in here at first was super nice. Like I didn't have to worry about the boys and I could just sweep it and mop it, but it showed so much more of the floors that I don't love. So when you just kind of cover them up, you don't notice. Um, I did throw the dog bed rug on top of it cause they do like to lay on it and it just saves my rug. Like when they're laying on it, it gets this smelly instead of this and I can wash that heck of a lot easier than the rug. So glad I got this. Like I said, it is smaller because before this would have come out past there, but it's okay. It'll be fine. <laughs> it was cheaper. It added some lightness in here. So I'm happy with this one. Here's the view from this side. Honestly, last time the rug came out on both sides right here and now seeing it without it, I kind of like it better because this kind of cuts into our kitchen area and with our bar stools, like pulling back and stuff, it won't get stuck on there. And then this is like a hallway. So like George would lay on it here, but I just feel like it kind of just goes into walking spaces. So it's definitely gonna probably work out better. And like I said, it was cheaper. So we're gonna count that one as a win. Next up on the list is this bathroom. So like a few videos ago, you guys saw me get the itch to switch in here and I bought a new ottoman down there. I brought this in from the outside. We added a new mirror right there. I kind of switched up some of the decor. Um, I even ran to Ross and they had these hand lotions. So I went ahead and grabbed them because I felt like they went with like the new color theme I was going. And I was on the hunt for some hand towels because I didn't feel like the gray went anymore. So I jumped onto Amazon and found these and I love them. They're more of the tone that we're looking for and they are so soft. And anytime I'm looking, I typically buy kitchen hand towels as my bathroom hand towels because they have more detail. But these were actually bathroom ones and they're super thick. I think they're gonna dry really well. And it had a matching towel. So I'm not gonna buy all new towels, but I thought this would be good on my bathtub just to kind of decorate it. And then it's gonna pull all of this together on both sides. So let me style these real fast and then we can see what we think. I know we're talking about like Target and Amazon today, but just keep in mind if you're looking for really pretty hand towels, um, go to like the kitchen towels at Ross and TJ Maxx. I feel like I get the best deals there. I will say right now they're all fall related, so you're gonna have to kind of wait and get through the holidays, but then you can get some really cute hand towels for really cheap, stick them in your bathroom, and they look high end and they were super affordable. Okay guys, what do we think? I love having just a decorative towel here. Obviously we won't use it much. We just use like our normal towels, but I think it's pretty just setting out. It's got lots of like detail and design to it. And then it matches with our hand towels over here on this side. So I'm super excited about that. So you don't have to spend money on like all your towels, I have normal ones like in the cabinet, but the ones sitting out can be just a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna link those for you because um, they're actually like really, really soft and really nice. Since we're talking Amazon decor, I could not leave out these beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous olive trees. I have three of them. I'll show all of them to you. I will say the price varies so you can order like, during Prime Day, I think they got as low as 88, but you can typically get them for around 103-ish area. Um, but they are just so nice up close. Full disclosure, we've had two come to us that aren't broken and we've had three come broken. But if it's broken, they will pay for shipping back and send you a new one. And we just kept doing that until we got it right. So here is the other one. This one's my favorite. We got this one first. And so they're all unique. So no two of them are gonna look alike. I just love how this one's like curved. I think it's so romantic. I wish I could get another one like that. The straight ones are pretty, but this one just stands out to me. And then this last one was one, it was in between the two ones that I got that weren't broke. <laughs> this one, 
was broke but I decided to try and fix it and so we were able just to hot glue it so if you get up really close you see it but from far back you never even notice it but I just think they're beautiful they do not come with the pots I know someone got confused by that I just buy my pots from um, home goods and Ross and then I throw some moss on top so you will have to grab something like that even a basket would work but I feel like they look amazing in spaces and they just look so expensive and nice. So if you're needing a piece like that, I've bought some from Hobby Lobby, but they are nothing compared to these. I wanna order one more for my guest bedroom because um, I just think they're so pretty. We're gonna head into my office now. I did do a little more rearranging from the last time you guys saw this space. I moved the tree over here, the lamp that was there I moved here, and then I hid my dress away for now. Our realtor called and um, the builder wants pictures of our house for his website, so nothing will get your rear in gear <laughs> and get your house together than knowing someone's coming to take pictures of it. Um, so I'm trying to finish up a few of these spaces and I had already been wanting to work on them anyway. Um, I did get some new curtains and a curtain rod because we did a project off camera and I gave them what I had because I knew I was looking for something different and what I had up here worked perfect for them. Um, so I went ahead and ordered this gold curtain rod as you can see there and then I'll have to open these up. Um, before I had like solid white curtains up there and they were like blackout so they were just super super white. I wanted to go still light but kind of more like this. Kind of more of like a tan beigey ivory cream i think it just looks more we're gonna go back to that word um, organic modern that i speak of all the time so let's go and get these hung up and then i have lots of other stuff to do because i ran to target last night and just like randomly found all of this stuff so we will have lots more to decorate so this is turning in from like an amazon decorate with me to an amazon and target decorate with me okay so chase got the hardware hung always hang your curtains as high as you can possibly go we did it right below the crown molding you can see right there and also always put it out a little ways from your window you don't want the curtain panels just to cover your window you want it to go on the wall so your window looks larger and your room's gonna feel just taller and more grand by raising all of your curtains up have this feeling haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping Caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Hold me towards you and I can't fight it My head's underwater I try to disguise it Want you to hold me though we haven't spoken Okay, so this curtain rod doesn't like set on top of it It slides through it so I'm leaving a few of these out so we can slide it through and then you want to add these to the other side of it so you can hide that bracket and it can come a little bit further down. Um, now if it was a bracket that you could just set the rod like on top of it, you wouldn't have to do this. But since this whole piece is going to slide in there, um, I'll show us doing it but leave those off and then put those on at the end. So if I wanted the pole to end right there, I wouldn't have to do it, but I like to cover it. And I also like to extend the pole just a little bit more so that we're covering more of the wall and less of the window. So see how I pulled that out? And then now we'll slide these two tabs on there. Um, curtains have lots of different ways to hang them now. I like the ones on the back, like the back tabs. So like when I'm searching Amazon and I'll link all this for you, I search for back tabs. I feel like they just kind of um, pleat real nicely. They just look really nice and I'll come in and fix those when he's done. But I think these are gonna look really good. I feel like that looks so good. Do they need to be steamed? Absolutely. Am I going to do it right now? No. <laughs> I'll let them set um, tonight, maybe tomorrow. And then if they still need it, I'll do it then. But I feel like adding curtains to a space just helps so much. Plus it helps with just the heat and the sun. But I'm really loving those a lot. And I'm liking having the gold rod instead of the black over there. It just kind of helps. I don't know, it's a little less harsh, it's a little more subtle, and I still have pops of gold throughout here, so it works nicely. 
what are we gonna work on next? It's gonna be this fireplace. I told you guys I wasn't gonna be touching this living room anytime soon. But with all honesty, I feel like I get the most comments about my mantle <laughs> than anything else other than like the fur babies and stuff. Um, it's this mirror. I feel like it's just driving some of you guys crazy. I know it's more glam when I bought it. Once again, I was in more of that glam style, but I like covered up with all of this. Really hasn't bothered me, but then I walked into, about to catch Chase over here hiding. Just chilling. <laughs> I walked into Target and found this beautiful mirror and I was like, okay, maybe these people know what they're talking about. This is more my style. So we're gonna take down the glam mirror, put this up. I'm sure it's gonna start a domino effect because I don't know what else is gonna go with it. So I'm gonna have to shop my house. Plus I have just a few other small pieces for um, other places in the house. Um, but I'm gonna get all of this down. So I can clean this because it's been so long since I've been able to clean like behind all of this. And we're gonna create like an empty space and then we're gonna redecorate it. And hopefully you guys like it way better. <laughs> When we took this mirror down, I completely forgot that our builder had given us an outlet up there. So when it comes to Christmas time, if I put garland up there, I'm going to try to get some with lights because I could actually plug it in. And I think it'll be easier now because the mirror I'm replacing this with isn't as hard to move. That glam on was so heavy and I was always terrified to touch it because I did not want it to like fall and shatter. Um, but the new one's just a lot lighter so I can like adjust it and plug it in and maybe get one with like a remote so I can just turn it on and off that way. And yes, I'm already thinking Christmas. <laughs> I was gonna try to decorate the fireplace before taking it out of the box so if I wanted to return it I could but I just can't see the shape I will say I know I have a lot of wood tones going in here I'm trying to fix them <laughs> like I really eventually at some point want to lighten this stain right here and that stain and those are also like the same stain as my barn um, doors into our bathroom and then I'm trying to get rid of the orangey tones like see how this is a little bit lighter than this I really want to use this piece in my guest bedroom as a TV stand because you won't notice it as much because it has like really no other woods in there it's just like carpet and whites and grays so I'm wanting to get um, a new piece for here and then move this into the guest bedroom I want to flop this out with something because that's going like super orange now and then another piece I've been slowly looking for is right here I feel like that's orange as well but now when I'm buying I'm just being super super cautious that it's more like the floors or this blonde color in a dream world I would do something with this but it's tile floor and I don't think he's gonna let me <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, I don't want to. We'd have to like pack up everything to get new floors. So we're just gonna not look down and pretend like they're not there. And I'm just gonna decorate the house as if the floors matched everything else. So I've taken out a lot of like boards over here that were orangey. So I've just kind of went through and adjusted my style as much as I can. And that's what you have to do when you're in a house and you don't like things, you just kind of have to work with it. So that's what we're doing taking a little bit of time and the floors are just gonna have to stay. <laughs> Mirrors and rugs are just two things that can be expensive and they're also hard to get home. So just keep that in mind when you're buying pieces. Um, sometimes I feel like rugs are easier just to order if you don't have a way to like buy a big one in a store and get it. As far as mirrors, they're scary getting home because you don't want to break them, but I feel like they're more expensive online because they have to ship them and if they break, um, the company is out money. So that may be something you look in stores like Target um, and places like that. What are we thinking? I feel like it looks super simple, but I know you guys were thinking it looks way too cluttered, but I feel like we kind of went the opposite direction. I feel like it still needs something. It needs something up there. 
And I don't really want to do candlesticks because I already have two different types of wood up there, not counting all of all of this here. Um, so, and I don't want to do like too much of a black piece because I have like my big TV there. I just feel like it's a little off. I haven't like put my thumb on it yet. I'll eventually tweak it and figure it out. But I do like the mirror better. Um, it is less glammy. Um, I think I'm just gonna fiddle with this a little more and then see if I can figure out something and if not, we'll move on. As much as I wanna go light on the fireplace mantle and the beams, looking at this from this view, um, editing it, I'm thinking it might be easier to paint it black. I don't want a ton of black in my house, that's why I rather the wood, but I don't know how easy it is gonna be to sand that down and how light I'm gonna be able to stain it. So, that'll be up in the future. It's kind of overwhelming. I'm not so much worried about the mantle, it's the two beams way up in the ceiling that if I change the mantle, I have to change those and that just seems like a lot of work way up high. I think we're getting there, but I don't have it quite nailed down yet. So it may take finding a new piece. Savannah did walk in and say, add something black. So I grabbed those black candlesticks and I do think they work, but I think they may need to just be taller. I think once I have something to kind of balance out this over here, so maybe if they were like skinny and tall, dark, um, maybe that'll look better. So I'll keep tweaking with that later, but now let's go through all those Target bags so I can figure out what else I bought yesterday so we can finish up this decorating video. Originally, I had a wood fruit bowl here, but it was pulling that really orangey, even like worse than this in here. So I went ahead and got rid of it. Um, I went to Target, I got more bananas even for it. <laughs> um, but I was looking at a tons of bowls and they were all that like wood that's orangey or black. And I had tried my black bowl that's right there on my coffee table, but it was just really harsh as well. So I wanted to try this. It was literally $12. It's one of those that it's not like real glass. But let me put some stuff in here and we can see if we like it just so it kind of like blends in. Um, or I may need to get a wood one again, but just make sure it's like the lighter wood. If you've been following my last couple videos, we've been working on this bathroom. I really love how it's coming together. What's funny was this was like my least favorite space because the builder chose the tile and it was just very like beigey tan and I was going more gray at the time. But now that I've kind of like switched my style, I feel like it's the perfect room in the house. Like I just love the way it looks. Um, I had this rug from Ikea. It's just like a bath mat. I have two of them just so I can keep one washed. Um, but the gray is just really harsh now and I don't have much gray in here. So I picked this up from Target. I just felt like it was beautiful. It's like an ivory color. Um, and it just had a lot of texture and design. So I'm gonna flip flop these out and I think it's just gonna make a really big difference for not a lot of money. So here is the before. And now the after. Looks really good, matches just the bathroom a lot better. Now we're gonna talk about Amazon and Target. So I've already talked about these hand towels. I loved them so much. I went ahead and placed another order because I'm always worried they're gonna sell out. Um, they're just so thick and they absorb water so well. So I got a second set. So as soon as I pull these down to wash them, I already have another set clean. Plus I love that it matches this towel over here. And then I recently switched out all of our bath towels. Um, I did a huge declutter. I got rid of 35 bath towels, which seems insane. I don't even know how I ended up with that many. I had so many in our garage and then for our boys and then Savannah and then us. 
and I just wasn't happy with the gray. They had really started to turn colors. So I picked these up from Target. I want to say they're like $9. Savannah, I got like the $7 ones and they actually have a built-in like loop so they can just hang them up. I will say these feel soft, they feel okay, but as soon as you wash and dry them once, they get even softer. I've been so happy with these. The colors haven't changed. Um, I've got them right here. Well, there's one left. <laughs> there's a few there. I guess I need to do laundry. But I went ahead and grabbed two more because I just didn't think we had enough. Obviously, we're going through them so quickly. But if you're in need of a good bath towel, um, check out Target and I'll also link these down below so you guys can see like the exact ones. Just so we can get a last look in here for now, I still have things I want to switch out. I still feel like I have to fix this somehow, but I am liking it better. I need to find either a table or for a bench in there. Um, I need to get this moved to the guest bedroom and find something for that. <laughs> now I've left um, here with just flowers or greenery, so I'm going to have to find a vase, which that's easy. I feel like Home Goods or Target or TJ Maxx, all those places will have something. And then I am on the hunt for a new bench. You can really see in the sliding, like how orange that is. So we have some work to do, but I feel like we are definitely getting there. It just takes a little bit of time. I wanted you guys to see it doesn't all happen in one day. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work. I'm not gonna lie, my supervisors are slacking on the job today. Normally they're like following me around, watching me like a hawk. And they are both <laughs> super tired and they're sleeping on the job. <laughs> I really do enjoy shopping both places. Like I love walking into Target and actually seeing everything and getting to shop, but I love the convenience of Amazon that I can just do it for my phone and bed or a dance practice, wherever Savannah is, and it gets shipped straight to my door. So both are wins. Keep in mind with Target, you can shop online and just pick it up in store. You can even do the drive up, which is really nice. We'll do that when we're out running errands. So if you have kids, you still don't have to get like out of your car and I'll have everything linked from today's video down below in the description box so definitely check that out but thank you guys so much for watching I know we didn't get like a complete ending because there's some more things to tweak but that is just decorating and that's what it's like to have the itch to switch so thank you guys so much for being here if you're new go ahead and click that red subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one bye